Another Bite, hosted by John Dick, Jory Monroe, and Ariel Boswell, is brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network, the audio destination for business professionals. Each week, they break down episodes of everyone's favorite business television show, Shark Tank, offering their own unique thoughts, spin-off companies, critiques, and even talk with some of the folks who pitch to the sharks and live to tell the tale. From squatty potties to mench on a bench, and even that weird golf club you use as a toilet, Another Bite takes a fresh look at some of your favorite episodes, and even more importantly, answers what these entrepreneurs are up to now. It's an amazing show for getting a more in-depth look at how businesses are built. And no matter where you are in your journey of work or business ownership, you can be sure you'll walk away with a fresh perspective. So listen to Another Bite wherever you get your podcasts. This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1118, Life After a Layoff, What I Do Differently, part one by Jessica of thefioneers.com. And I am Dan, I'm your host, and welcome to another edition of Optimal Work Daily, where I read to you every single day of the week, and that includes weekends and holidays, from some great blogs on work, entrepreneurship, productivity, and much more. So, today we have a longer post, so I'm going to break it into two, like I usually do, and I'll read the first half for you right now, and then the rest for you tomorrow in the Tuesday show. So let's get to it now and hear Jessica's part one of this post as we optimize your life. Life After a Layoff, What I'd Do Differently, part one, by Jessica of thefioneers.com. I'm no stranger to layoffs or challenging job searches. I graduated from college in 2009 in the midst of the recession. Unfortunately, I didn't have a job yet at that time, so unemployment wasn't an option. It was an incredibly challenging job search to find my first real job. I got a job street canvassing, aka worst job ever, in New York City that I thought was a stopgap to cover the bills while I found something else. Over the course of my year canvassing, I applied for more than a hundred jobs. I got extremely depressed. It got to the point where I dropped down to 80% time and started going to therapy for the first time in my life. In 2014, I was laid off from an organization that I had been employed by for four years. The organization was struggling financially and decided to downsize. At the time, my job was focused on training and capacity building for people on the ground doing the quote-unquote real work. Looking back, I can understand why my position was one of the first to be eliminated. When I first learned about the layoff, though, I was distraught. On my commute home that day, I cried on the subway. It felt personal. I overanalyzed the reasons why I was terminated. I assumed that it must be related to my performance or likability. With everything that's been going on, I've been reflecting on these experiences again. It's possible that I will be laid off again within the next few months. I know many people who have already been laid off, furloughed, or given reduced hours. I know a lot more than I did five to 10 years ago about searching for a job, layoffs, and the relationship between the employer and employee. I've been reflecting on how I would have approached these situations differently and how I would approach a future layoff. If I got laid off today, here's what I'd do differently. One, realize it's not personal. If I got laid off today, I'd need to remind myself that it's not personal. I am not uniquely experiencing something. So many people are experiencing the exact same thing. When I couldn't find a job in 2009, I internalized it. For some reason, my experience felt unique. I must be doing something wrong because I couldn't find a job. I blamed it on my field of study and lack of experience. Surely those things contributed to it, but my experience was not unique. Blaming myself only bummed me out and kept me from taking actions to move me forward. In 2014, I spent way too much time overanalyzing why I was in the earliest group to get laid off. What was it about me? I looked at all of my actions and second-guessed everything. Looking back, it wasn't about me. The job I was doing wasn't essential. If I got laid off today, I'd remind myself that it isn't personal. This is a systemic challenge that we are experiencing in our world right now. I would try to remember that I was not singled out because I was bad at my job. Two, track my accomplishments and achievements. It can be easy to get sucked into negative thinking. In 2009, I definitely fell into the trap of feeling like I didn't have value. This was because I wasn't receiving the external validation from my job search. If I were to get laid off now, I'd figure out a way to remind myself of my accomplishments and achievements. 
One thing I'd do is to write down a list of things I accomplished in my last job that I feel proud of. I'd also reflect on the things I'm most proud of throughout my career. Not only would this practice help me not feel as much negativity, but it would also help me feel more confident in my abilities when applying for new jobs. This practice would remind me that I have a lot to offer the world. Three, hear that on tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled Life After a Layoff, What I'd Do Differently by Jessica of thefioneers.com. You want consistency and quality, but you also want variety and freshness. If you run a business, you want it all. With nuts.com, you can get so many different delicious snacks and ingredients and know they will consistently exceed your expectations. Nuts.com is your one-stop shop for the highest quality foods for business. They offer delicious office snacks, corporate gifts, and wholesale ingredients. And over 50,000 companies choose nuts.com for their business needs, from offices to hotels to restaurants and retail stores. And we've even loved their product as remote workers. Nuts.com has sent us plenty of snacks that keep us energized and focused so we can deliver the best work we can. Nuts.com makes ordering for your business quick and easy. Right now, Nuts.com is offering new business customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $125 or more at Nuts.com slash OWD. So go check out all of the delicious options at Nuts.com slash OWD. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $125 or more. That's Nuts.com slash OWD. Your business was humming. Was. Now, teams are buried in manual work, taking forever to close the books. Consider three numbers, 36,000, 25, 1. 36,000, that's the number of businesses which have upgraded to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, streamlining accounting, financial management, inventory, HR, and more. 25, NetSuite turns 25 this year. That's 25 years of helping businesses do more with less. One, because your business is one of a kind, so you get a customized solution for all of your KPIs in one efficient system with one source of truth. NetSuite is giving you the power of having all your information in one place, helping you to make better, more driven decisions as a business owner. Right now, download NetSuite's popular KPI checklist designed to give you consistently excellent performance absolutely free at netsuite.com slash startup. That's netsuite.com slash startup to get your own KPI checklist. netsuite.com slash startup. And thanks to the Fioneers, who are Jess and Corey, a couple living in Boston, Massachusetts. They started the Fioneers together in September 2018 to chronicle their journey to financial independence. And since then, they've made more intentional choices to design their lives. As an example, they bought a camper van to support their goal of living a location-independent lifestyle. The two of them love adventure, and that might be exploring a new country, learning a new language, or exploring the great outdoors. So come on by thefioneers.com to see their articles, plus you can check out their free resources, challenges, and much more. And thank you again to Jess and Corey for letting us share their work. But of course, that is not it for this post, because uh, even though this episode is done, I'm going to be back tomorrow with part two of this post, so please join me there, where your optimal life awaits. 